Hey guys, it's your best boxing friends. I'm Kelsey. This is Rachel. Rachel, there's only one Tyson Fury, and there's probably a hundreds of Tom Swartz, 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 Tom Swartz. That was John Swartz. John Swartz, whatever his name is. <laughs> He's a regional level German heavyweight contender, undefeated, mind you. But he gets a shot at V1 Tyson Fury. How do you feel about that fight? Um, well, I don't know who this person is, and I thought, well, maybe that's just me. But then I saw that other people also don't know who this person is, who who I think follow, you know, are more closely following boxing. And, uh, yeah, so I'm a little bit disappointed because Joshua Miller, that's a legitimate, like, you know, like, I mean, Joshua's favorite, yeah. Um, Wilder Brazil, like, Brazil, Brazil is... Wilder's favored, yeah, but like those are, we, we know who those guys are, and I'm like, yeah, give them a chance since these top three contenders aren't fighting each other right now. Yeah. But to go like way off the, the board here and be, pick some rando, yeah. you know, it some seems rando a little weird German. to me, especially coming off a fight with Wilder. Like, what do you, this, fighting this guy was what you could have done instead of Wilder. People would have understood because you're coming like, you needed tune-up fights, right? Like, yeah. I remember being surprised. Like, I was like, I don't know what Fury's gonna do, like, against Wilder. Like, I really had no idea. Um, so, yeah, it's a little funny. It's really disappointing. I was trying to quickly look up Tyson Fury's fights before Deontay Wilder. I don't remember the names. I remember the one guy was a cruiserweight, Sefer Seferi, Seferi, something like that. I remember he fought that yeah, cruiserweight. Yeah. And then his second fight was against uh, I'm just going to, Francesco Pianetta, an Italian heavyweight, who had challenged Vladimir Klitschko mm -hmm. before, so I knew who that was, and he was a higher-level opponent. This guy from Germany seems more like Sever Severi guy. Mm -hmm. I'm like, except that he's a heavyweight, but he's a regional-level heavyweight in Germany. You know, like he's... I don't understand this move. If you're claiming to be the lineal heavyweight champion of the world... And you are claiming to be that. You're talking about being the man who beat the man. And yeah, you did. You beat Vladimir Klitschko. Um, but you got a draw against Deontay Wilder. Promised everybody you're going to fight the biggest and the best. And instead, and I get, I get what, like you said, Anthony Joshua and Deontay Wilder are doing. The difference between what they're doing and what Tyson Fury is doing is both of those guys are defending their championships against a legitimate top 10 ranked opponent. And I mean in a legitimate world ranking system. So I don't mean, I don't, you know, if you look at the alphabet rankings, WBA, IBF, yeah, nobody WBO, WBC. Well, but nobody looks at them because they're not credible. Right. They've got guys ranked in the top 10 that you've never heard of, that yeah. will never do anything. It's all political. But if you look at the Ring Magazine or if you look at the Transnational Boxing Rankings Board, you can really get a sense of who the top 10 guys are in the division. Both the guys, they're fighting in that. This other guy is nowhere near close to being in consideration for that. Yeah. He's fought no credible opponents, beaten no credible opponents. The best thing I can say about it, and just looking at his resume, is that he has at least fought other German regional level fighters who had good records mm -hmm. for the last couple of years, right? So he's not fighting. Sometimes you look at a guy's record, and all the guys he's fighting are like 5 and 33. Mm -hmm. well, you know what I'm saying? This guy has fought guys that are 11 and 0, or 12 and 1, or 14 and 2, something like that. So that's good, I guess. But still, this is not the fight that is going to convince people out there that you're the best heavyweight in the world. I love Tyson Fury's. You know, how can you not love Andy Lee's second cousin? How can you not love him? We love him. We love Tyson Fury. We sing the song sometimes, and. You know, it's just a remarkable story, and I get taking the money, and I get taking lesser competition. What I don't get is fighting this kind of level of opponent. I don't like it. Yeah, and I, I wonder, like, how did it, like, get, who's promoting, like, this? How did he get set up in Vegas? I thought that was interesting. It's Bob Arum and Tom. Both so, these guys are from over, from yeah. over there, you know? So like, for people that aren't quite caught up to date on what's going on, Tyson Fury signed a co promotional agreement. So Tyson Fury's mm -hmm. been promoted by Frank Warren for a long time. He's the UK promoter, yeah. one of the better promoters over there. Signed a co promotional deal with Bob Arum at Top Rate Promotions. And that's what brings Tyson Fury over here. He'll, he'll fight over here a lot. Mm -hmm. He's going to fight on ESPN because ESPN um, has given him the, the multi million dollar contract for all those fights. So I get that. I get why it's over here. I don't get the opponent. 
There are many heavyweight contenders. Look at another co-promoted heavyweight that's from Bulgaria over across the world from here is Kubrat Pulev, who fights um, Saturday here in America. He's fighting Bogdan Dinu. Bogdan Dinu has at least been in the ring with Gerald Miller. Yeah, he was knocked out, but I'm saying that even that guy, even that second-tier opponent is a lot better than this German guy. I don't know yeah. how you're going to promote this other than claiming I'm the lineal heavyweight champion. Yeah, some people believe that you are, and I get that, but... I don't, yeah, know. I don't know. I was How hoping you're for more. This. Like you're gonna have to have like a decent undercard. Like if you're gonna be promoting fights, otherwise, like it's gonna be on the ESPN Is it just Plus. like Tyson Fury just gonna be talking? Like I mean, he, he can do that. Like he can. He can drive that. I just you know from a boxing perspective. I mean, even if you're gonna look at like if you were gonna say let's just gonna put him in with the body, why isn't it somebody like Brian Jennings who's coming off a loss? But at least he has a name. Yeah, he's gotta yeah, have some kind weird. of promotional name value. Yeah. Or some other, you know, I yeah. mean, I, I just don't, I don't understand the move. I don't like it. I'm grateful that the other two heavyweight champions, Deontay Wilder and Anthony Joshua, are looking for better opponents to fight and do their thing. That's what heavyweight boxing needs. Um, this opponent is more to the level of, like, I haven't been in boxing for two years. This, this is not, I just fought Deontay Wilder and yeah, maybe yeah. the fight of the year at, to a draw and now... I'm gonna fight this guy. I don't. I don't understand. I hope. I hope against hope. It hasn't been officially announced. I don't think. It's, it was a German news report that's been picked up by a lot of people. Credible journalists here in America have picked it up, like Dan Raphael. So I do think it's gonna happen. They probably would know. But still, I don't like it, Tyson. I want to see you up against the very best. You know, maybe even the likes of pulling Apollo Creed out of its retirement or <laughs> Clubber Lang. Yeah, no, they're not. They don't exist. But they're better than this guy. Well, hey, maybe you're a fan of his opponent, whatever his name might be. I think his it's name John is Schwartz. Definitely something. <laughs> um, let us know. Tell us like, oh, yeah. why this is a good fight. Uh, tell us why we shouldn't be like you know tearing this fight down. Educate um, us. Yeah, because we just don't know, and we um, we can be ignorant about things. But sometimes we are. We are. <laughs> you know what? You don't want to be ignorant about. What is that? Like and comment and subscribing. <laughs> Um, I'm not saying that if you don't, that you are ignorant, but what I am saying is that, just to be sure, go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. In today's world, you want to be the best you can be. We are trying to be the best we can be, and all of this rhymes, don't you see? I don't, I don't know what happened, I'm sorry. Just like, comment, subscribe.